In this lab, we are examining the behavior of an AC circuit with a resistor and an inductor in series. Notice that when we are connecting the oscilloscope leads to the circuit, I've made sure that all the grounds are connected to the same point. The power supply ground and the ground for both channels of the oscilloscope are connected together. I've connected channel 1 across the supply, channel 2 across the inductor. This means that to measure the voltage across the resistor, we must use the math setting to subtract channel 1 from channel 2. In this experiment, the frequency is set to 10 kilohertz. The digital multimeters are not accurate at this frequency, and therefore we must use the oscilloscope to measure the voltages. The oscilloscope also has the advantage of showing us the relationship of the voltages to each other. Remember that when using vector diagrams, the length of the vector represents the RMS value of the sine wave, and the angle of the vector is the phase angle of the sine wave. On the oscilloscope, you will see this phase angle as the time between the different waveforms. So on channel 1, we have the supply voltage. On channel 2, we have the inductor voltage. This is leading the supply voltage by some angle less than 90 degrees. And looking at our vector diagram, this is what we expect. When we subtract channel 1 from channel 2, we get the resistor voltage. As expected, this lags the supply voltage. If we remove the supply voltage for a moment, it is easier to see that the angle between the inductor and resistor voltages is 90 degrees, or one quarter of a full cycle. This is expected since on the phasor diagram there is 90 degrees between VL and VR.